hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i am amrit and i am a colorist and i make videos on davinci resolve here on youtube today we are going to talk about stills how you can use them and i will give you some tips on stills and let's get started basically what is stills it is a snapshot of the scene it contains the no structure that you use to build up a color grade and if you want to apply on another clip and you go on that clip and just basically apply a grade it's a one method and let's undo that another method is grab this and apply and it will apply the grade whole grade it's another method and the third method is just middle click from the mouse and it will apply the whole grade and let's say we apply the grade and we make an adjustment here just uh, like that so you can notice it so we already applied the color grade and we just want to change the last node because we make changes some in last node and we don't want to change the whole grade let's just delete that last node in which we made some changes let's grab a still from that and go on that clip where we want to change and show display node graph so here's the whole node graph from that still so on last node we made changes and then grab that node and when you see that plus sign leave it it will automatically attach and apply the grid so here are some more things you can do if you want to apply only the sizing then you can apply from here and the ptz r is spent till zoomed or rotated so if you want to apply only that you can apply from here if you want to apply only color that you can apply here if you want to apply both then you can apply here so in node you can apply whatever you want if you don't want to apply the track data then you can unselect this these all and here if you have any timeline nodes that will show up here so and let's go back here these tails are only uh, available in this project if you want to use this node structure in another projects then you will go in power grid you can see here i already saved some stills from another project so i can use them later if i want to use them and so like that you can grab a still from here and apply them later on some another projects so these power grids that will show up in another projects too but the normal stills from still folder that will only show up in this project if you want to change names you can change by change label or you can also customize the name of stills. You can go on settings. In general options, you can click on automatic label gallery stills using. So you can name it from here. If you go in customs and you apply percentage, then come to metadata and you can select whatever name you want to select. I will select file name and if you want to see these numbers also then you have to click on this and then save it so now if I grab a still then it will come with a name of that clip let's trade it so you can see here usually name is in numbers and first number is video channel one and second number is from the clip the clip number second and this third number is a version number of the clip if you are working on some big project and you want to apply grade to so many clips like here we applied a grade from let's just reset this one let's just say we applied on here and we see here's a power window that we we have to track but we wanted to do it later so Let's say you have so many clips and you want to apply the grade first and you want to do these minimal corrections later. For that, you can add a still album and name it correction and grab a still here 
and then you work on other clips and then want to come back here you see here it will also grab the time code of that frame and if, if you want to go back on that frame from where we have grabbed that still you just go on the still and right click on that and go on match reference wipe that will come on that particular frame from where we grab the still and you can do this correction and then delete this one and one another thing for power grade this is the best tip if you want to save some uh, stills uh, some notes that are particular for like sharpness or something like that then you can save them in power grade and then so whenever you want to use them then you just have to double click on that and it will append on the note tree and let's just make one firstly we will take an text let's just name this sharpen 47 and make it a compound clip because text file does not show in color page so that's why we have to make it a compound clip so we can work on it in color page see this is the text that will not will show in clips let's just go and sharpen make it 47 and grab still in power grades so whenever you need it just go and double click on it and it will append on the notes tree and the last tip is i already told you for color reference if you want to download any reference from internet and you want to grab it here so you can see and make some corrections then you can download that from internet and then go here and import and here is your if you are not seeing jpg then you go in options make sure you select all files and if you are selected dpx then it will not show these images in all files select that image import it will come here and if you want to use it as a reference then double click it and you can use it as a reference and you can do your color grade from here this is it for today guys i hope you like this video make sure to subscribe my youtube channel and this is our new channel so we need support i already seen my 90 percent of users are seeing without subscribing my channel so please make sure to subscribe it and like my videos and make sure you click on the bell icon so whenever i'm going to upload my next video you will be notified and seen it firstly if you have any question you can ask me on my instagram or you can comment here my instagram link will be in the description so if you have any question you can directly message me i will respond every single message so take care guys see you in the next video